making sense of new legislation. Union's Otago co-convener Fiona Matapo is wading through the almost 200 pages of the government's new Health and Safety at Work Act. The legislation has just come into effect and from a union perspective there's disappointment that it doesn't reach far enough. We're still in a situation where this legislation doesn't really cover workers and workplaces of 20 people and, and, and smaller. So that's a large group of, of workers in New Zealand for whom this legislation is going to offer no protection. It's one of the issues that Matapo and other concerned union members protested last year when the legislation was going through Parliament. While they're not entirely happy with all the changes, they're pleased that the government is making positive inroads. What we do like about the legislation is that it is starting to encourage workplaces to think about what the culture of health and safety looks like and to encourage best practice around health and safety so that workers can go to work and come home, home safely. Around 75 people die at work each year and around 10% of all workers nationwide are harmed in some way. The latest workplace incident occurred just last week when an experienced forestry foreman was killed near Napier. It's cases like that which Matapo says are still happening too frequently. We know that this isn't actually having the positive effect and positive impact that we would, would like it to. Forestry, for example, has been one area where there's been significant uh, numbers of, of deaths. And this year so far, um, there are four deaths in, in forestry and that's just not acceptable. Workplace Health and Safety Minister Michael Woodhouse concedes the Act is not a silver bullet in addressing all of the country's health and safety challenges. But he says it's a step in the right direction, helping to encourage active participation from employers and workers to reduce the workplace death and injury toll. Ruby McAndrew, 39, Dunedin News.